hello guys so welcome back to my channel my name is vishal in this video let's have a look on the bevel edge in the edge actions of z modeler tool so if i just uh, check my brush palette you have the z modeler here i can just press b z and m to access the z modeler there so as it is edge action i uh, put my cursor on the edge and hit space bar and then select the bevel here so we got the target and then we got the modifiers and i'll put everything to the default and the default one is the edge loop complete which is nothing but a complete poly loop here so whichever edge which i'm selecting throughout the loop extension it it bevels that line so you can try that on different sides here okay uh, so we have uh, the other one which is edge a loop partial where the loop ends it it's gonna end the looping or the beveling so here the loop ends that's the reason you could able to see it's not working there and then we got a uh, poly loop and when i just select this line uh, if I'm selecting the vertical line, the horizontal line is beveled and if I select the horizontal line, the vertical line is beveled and it is slightly sensitive. Let me just click and drag. If I move the cursor, it will generally pick which edge you want to bevel here just by uh, moving the cursor more towards that edge and then you can bevel as much as possible. So here uh, I'm going to put this edge look complete and click and drag here and uh, you should be able to see we got the single row and uh, with that you got two rows four rows and eight rows so select the two row here and then you get the two rows one and two when i just pick that to four rows you get four rows and then eight rows will give me the eight rows of bevel here and then you got uh, the linear edge which is giving me that uniform spacing while sharp edge is going to give me a non-uniform spacing where the edges are more close outward of this bevel towards the edges of this bevel while soft edge is going to give me again non-uniform but the edges are more concentrated on the center you can apply the dynamic subdivision and then you can check the way it is uh, making the result here so the result looks completely different in the sharp edge versus the soft edge so you can also select the edge sharpness where the value of uh, edge sharpness is zero will give me the linear edge and while the positive values give me uh, the edges pushed towards the uh, edges or the outside corner where the negative values puts pushes the edges to the center or the inside of the uh, bevel here so you can pu put a very subtle value to get less concentration of this and then you can control the way the roundness is achieved here so this is what we got uh, for the bevel edges you, you also have this in the polygon action you can try that which is almost like what we do in the edges side if you got any questions related to bevel let me know in the comment section and uh, i request you to subscribe my channel and hit like button thank you